The strength of the IMB is its unique multidisciplinary research. We have a really strong emphasis on high quality discovery. So we discover new knowledge that people care about. And then we do something about it. And we do something about that by translating it through partners. The mission of our group is to unleash the power of peptides. If we can harness these natural molecules for other functions, like as natural insecticides or next generation drugs, then we're essentially tapping into millions of years of evolution of these molecules and sort of redeploying them for new purposes. There's endless possibilities in medicine, diagnosis, imaging and agriculture where we're focusing at the moment. The problem that was brought to us to assist with solving was trying to work out what the active ingredients of this plant, butterfly pea, might be, which is the active ingredient in Ciro X. The idea of using man-made chemical substances to protect crops is a thing of the past. There's lots of plants out there that have bioactivity against insects, and there's lots of biopesticides out there that have been discovered but very, very few of them get through the regulatory pathway because the understanding of those active ingredients just isn't there. With this relationship, we can look at the next 10, 15, 20 years and know that we will be always able to be at the forefront of this revolution in agriculture. IMB is the world leader in venom-based discovery of drugs and insecticides. We have venoms from over 600 species of all sorts of animals and we're using those for development of human drugs and for bioinsecticides. Spiders, of course, are the best insect predators on the planet. They're professional insect killers. Their venoms are full of insecticidal compounds and we've been working with New Farm to identify the very best ones that we could try and develop as natural insecticides. We typically deal with synthetic insecticides, but we looked at the opportunity of using a biologically derived insecticide, which is a great interest to New Farm. So if we can find a natural one, that's a huge advantage for New Farm. That gives us a wonderful position in the market. What's different about IMB is we're used to engaging with industry. We're attuned to the needs of the industries in terms of collaboration. What is the commercial reality? What is actually needed out there in the marketplace? and work backwards from that and say, well, how could we help you address that need? IMB has been very good in understanding our problems and then understanding there needs to be a commercial outcome and then working through the problem with us to identify a solution to those problems. And we get access to some wonderful technology that otherwise we wouldn't. We actually love industry partners to come to us with a problem. We love those sort of challenges. One of the great things about the IMB is we have incredible diversity of expertise an incredible diversity of infrastructure and we can often bring all those things together to try and meet some of these challenges of the, of the marketplace. It's becoming increasingly clear inflammation is an underlying cause or at least contributes in some way to the pathology of a huge range of diseases, whether that's cancer, Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, type 2 diabetes. These are really diseases that are you know, growing and becoming increasingly more prevalent in the industrialised world and we don't have good treatments for them. That's why anti-inflammatory therapies that actually target the inflammation in a number of these diseases is huge and obviously also potentially commercially very attractive. My first foray into academia was to look at these special molecules that could treat a variety of inflammatory diseases. And I could use and capitalize on my commercial background to actually develop those molecules to create something new to make them better than they were before. We had investment to the tune of 22 million to set up a new company, Inflazome, and push these molecules through into the clinic. It's the largest Series A investment for any Australian university ever. For IMB and also UQ, that's been a tremendous achievement. Industry increasingly has become more and more aware of the value of partnering with universities. Some of the people at this university have worked their whole life in one disease area. So to be able to draw on that background knowledge and also translate that into a commercial outcome is tremendous. The IMB is very much commercially focused. There's just an awareness around the commercial potential. At the IMB, we had the combination of expertise in terms of inflammatory biology, but then also the medicinal chemistry, and then also in the environment of the IMB, really allowed us to capitalise on the potential that was there. 
Our group works on analysis of genetic data, of very large data sets, trying to understand variation between people. The technology of the last 10 years means that these data sets have become more and more interesting and able to tell us more about different traits. My interest is particularly on the common diseases. These have the greatest impact on the economy of our society. But across the board, new drug treatments in the last 50 years have been really rather few. But we can see that the outcomes of genetic research are going to change that. Right now, genomics is both transforming and has the potential to further transform healthcare. The big public health issues and things like diabetes, heart failure, uh, chronic lung disease, they are a complex gene array and also epigenetic factors plus environment. How do we put all that together so that we can accurately characterise each individual and get into prescriptive and predictive analytics where we can target people before they develop their disease? And that's what Naomi and her team are so good at. They're world experts in bringing together all the information to start to unpick what determines the behaviour of those people in a healthcare sense. It's slightly futuristic, but we're already starting to see these applications happening using genetic information to help with prevention, diagnosis and deciding which treatments should be allocated to each person. IMB brings to the table expertise in terms of the science, uh, expertise in terms of entrepreneurialism to look at innovation, uh, to do things differently and critically to partner with people moving on to that precision medicine agenda. So it is the big leap of medicine in the early 21st century, just like antibiotics were in the 20th century. This is the big leap in the early part of the 21st century. We're really driven by solving hard problems. And we like to think of ourselves as people who are prepared to step into the unknown, which is not a place where everybody is comfortable. So by partnering with IMB, many organisations will be able to extend their capability in ways which would be otherwise very difficult for them to do. So we've had great success with our partners so far. Come and join us and make some real impact.